up sun rays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome today i am going to be revisiting the kc by care care gel essence moisturizing gel i did a review on this you know a few videos back and although my hair looked okay it just didn't feel very good it felt kind of mushy it felt really sticky so i said i wanted to revisit it and i did today and I wanted to use the KC Care Care products along with it. So I did use the shampoo from the Curl Essence line, the moisturizing conditioner from that line, and I also used the moisturizing leave-in conditioner from the Care Care, um, KC by Care Care line, or the Curl Essence line, I should say. Um, so the leave-in conditioner is in my hair right now. I did apply it in the shower. My hair is soaking wet. So now I am going to go ahead and apply the moisturizing gel. Not going to do a whole lot of talking about it. I will talk about all these products after the fact, um, just because I want to save some time. And I do want to use less of this than I used the last time. Last time I did say that I thought that I used too much. Um, so I want to use less this time so what i'm going to do is i am going to still section my hair not in as small as sections but i am going to section my hair and then i'm going to go in with the gel get a little bit rub it between my hands and i'm just going to smooth it onto the hair like so going to go ahead and just smooth it and rake it onto the hair like I normally do and I'm going to twirl the ends. I am not going to keep applying. I am not going to try to get that same feel that I get with other gels. I'm just going to get a little bit and smooth it onto the hair. And then I'm going to Twirl it. You know how sometimes I'll go back in, make sure my ends are coated and all that. Um, not gonna do that this time. I'm just I'm gonna do the bare minimum and hope it works. Because this gel does have a lot of glycerin in it. It's probably why it felt um, gummy on my hair. So, we're going to see if we can kind of try to alleviate that this time. But yeah, anyway, you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to do this all the way around my head and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I am done applying the product to my hair. I still have um, quite a bit, as you can see, not quite a bit, as in a full bottle, but I have quite a bit compared to um, what I used the last time. So I, can, I used a lot less this time. I'm hoping I used enough. <sighs> Sorry guys, I had to change my battery. Anyway, what I was saying was I used a lot less. I'm hoping I used enough. Um, I don't know. We're going to see because it is looking quite full. Um, but I'm going to get under the dryer and we are going to see what it looks like. And once I get out from under the dryer, then I'll talk about all these products at once. What I feel about them and things of that sort. But yeah, guys, so this is my hair with the product applied and I will be back so don't you go nowhere <sighs> okay guys so I am back and this is my hair so let's talk about the products first I use the KC by Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Shampoo this shampoo is with Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil 
those two oils are in this shampoo halfway to halfway down maybe a little bit more towards the bottom so i do want to let you know that this shampoo was nice it cleansed my hair it didn't strip my hair um i was able to do some slight finger detangling with it um i don't feel like it had a lot of slip to it but it had some it had enough where i could slightly finger detangle and it was moisturizing enough where my hair didn't feel stripped but it did feel clean um it felt like it was um you know keeping some moisture in my hair or it felt like it was adding some moisture to my hair it has a sweet it has a nice smell to it a nice sweet smell to it so not so much like candy but just sweet it's a pleasant scent to it so i do like the scent all in all i like the shampoo i will continue to use the shampoo um will i repurchase the shampoo that's to be determined anytime that there's a sale and i need a shampoo um, i might pick it up i don't know i just have so many other shampoos that are moisturizing that i like better they do cost a little bit more. This is very affordable. You can find it at Sally Beauty. You probably can find it some other places too. I got mine from Sally. Um, but you know, I might pick it up, um, but I don't think that I'll pick it up anytime soon because it's gonna take me a while to get through this. And like I said, I have so many other products. You guys have seen my stash, so there's no need for me to run out and pick this up. I would, um, I would recommend it. For someone who is on a budget for someone who wants to be able to just go and get something on the ground that's not going to strip their hair i mean i'd recommend it i'd say pick it up and give it a try after i shampooed i went in with the moisturizing conditioner from the same line now um i have tried i believe this conditioner before and i tried the co-wash to this line it's been a while back i think i do have a review on my channel i'll link it here and i believe i really like that uh co-wash i feel like it had a whole lot of slip to it and i thought in that i thought when i used it before that this conditioner um had some slip to it i don't know if they've changed it or maybe i just don't remember correctly i'm gonna have to go back and look at that video myself but i thought that i i like those two um unless it was a actual deep conditioner i'm not sure but anyway let's talk about this one this moisturizing conditioner i don't care for i'm just gonna say it i don't care for it um it's very thin i didn't show you the texture of the shampoo let me go ahead and show you that real quick so it's a it's a milky you know white color somewhat um just a regular shampoo consistency it lathered well so it did what it was supposed to do and it smells good the conditioner is uh oh the conditioner is a very loose conditioner so as you can see it's running down my hand it had no slip to it really I really couldn't feel any moisturizing properties in it. I didn't feel like it was adding anything to my hair. I felt like I was adding water to my hair, really. So I was really um, disappointed in the conditioner. As far as slip, I didn't feel any. I would, and it does say that this is for that you can detangle with this. It said to apply it to the hair and uh, let it sit for about 10 minutes. And if you want deeper conditioning, you can put on a plastic cap. So I didn't do that with this. It was just too thin. I didn't feel like it was adding anything to my hair. So I definitely didn't want to use it as a deep conditioner. That could be bad. That could be good. I don't know. Um, I didn't use it as a deep conditioner, but it is supposed to help you detangle. I didn't try to detangle with this because I just didn't feel like it had what I needed in it for it to detangle um and when i rinsed it i left it on for a few minutes it smells good too it has a nice pleasant scent as well um, i left it on for a few minutes um 
and tried to work it in a little bit, rinsed it out, and my hair felt uh, rubbery. It felt rubbery when you're trying to go down your hands. It felt rubbery. It kind of felt like if something was trying to make your hair squeaky clean and you know how your fingers kind can kind of bump down it or whatever, but my hair didn't squeak and it didn't feel like a shampoo that does that, but it kind of had that, that rubbery feel to my hair. I don't know. I didn't care for the conditioner. So guys, let me know if you've used this before, if you used it back in the past and if it had more slip to it, I don't remember. So no, I would not be repurchasing this and I wouldn't recommend this. I don't feel like it uh, gave me the moisture that I was looking for. So what I did do is I did go in with my Nature's Little Secret Rose Deep Conditioner. It does have a lot of slip. It does impart moisture. I did want some moisture added to my hair and I detangled with that rinsed it out and then i went in with the uh curl essence moisturizing leave-in conditioner it is a white creamy consistency if you can see that and it is very thin it's a thin consistency so it did seep into my hair you didn't see it like sitting on the outside of my hair or anything like that it has the same smell um it just felt okay i didn't feel like it was doing a whole whole lot either i do feel like it gave me a little bit more moisture than this which is great and the fact that it was so light i felt like okay maybe this would work well with the gel and wouldn't give me any flaking and wouldn't give me a whole lot of residue and hopefully wouldn't keep it from drying taking so long to dry because it was just so thin seeped right in so i'm on the fence with this we're going to see how much moisture you know how long the moisture lasts in my hair but i i want to use it again with maybe something else to give me more of a idea so i'm on the fence about the leave-in conditioner um, and then I came up here and I applied the moisturizing gel by gel essence. So I showed you me applying it. I did it in sections as well, but I only took a little bit and that's all I used for a section. I didn't go back in and keep going back in. I went in a little bit larger sections not a whole lot larger, but a little bit larger. And I just used one scoop for each section. I didn't go back in and then I didn't really um, concentrate on my ends like I normally do and things like that so I used a lot less of this and these are my results fluffy hair my hair is defined but it definitely has some frizz to it as well um, and it does not feel as gummy uh, it still it does feel very soft no cast whatsoever it does feel uh, moisturized right now and you can tell that there is something you could tell that the glycerin or whatever is in it glycerin is the second ingredient so you can tell that there's something in my hair that is keeping it moisturized but it's not it's not sticky like it was the first time and it's not real gummy like it was the first time so this is a better set for me and i like the way it feels better this time so using less is better in my opinion that's for me and my hair. Um, it does not have any shine to it. It doesn't like impart shine or anything. And I'm not sure that, it's, that it says that it should. Um, I don't think that it said that it should. I think it said that it would give you moisture or whatever. So we're going to see about that. Um, I think the moisture, you know, should last or whatever. And yeah, I like the bigness of it. You guys know I like big, I like fluffy. I did stretch it a little bit. All in all, it's not a bad, um, look at that gray hair. It's not a bad wash and go. So my thoughts on this, it's affordable. Uh, if you are someone who likes really, really moisturized hair, you don't mind a really soft feeling, especially if you're someone who suffers with moisture retention, this would be a good gel for you in my opinion because glycerin is the second ingredient depending on your climate. So you, you take that into consideration as well. With glycerin being so high in certain climates, it could really poof your hair out bigger than, uh, larger than what you would like. And in certain climates, it could 
um, you know, if your climate is really dry, it could pull the moisture out, you know, your climate could pull the moisture out um, of your hair. So just keep that in mind. So would I repurchase this? Um, I probably would. I probably re would repurchase this just because it is so uh, affordable, especially if I was at a town, especially, you know, if I was on the road and needed to pick up something really quick, I know that this would work. It would give me the definition, it would give me the big hair, and it would give me the moisture that I'm looking for. I do want to try some of their other lines because someone said that um, a couple of their other gels uh, weren't as moisturizing. So if I go back to pick up another uh, gel essence I might try a different one just to see what the difference is between the two but um, yeah I would recommend this to people I would so today I like my hair today my hair is not real sticky it's not real gummy it is very soft it is very moisturized and it is because I use less and um, these two did work well together. I don't have any flaking, so the leave-in and the gel works well together. So if you guys have used this gel and you got that really sticky feeling and you got that real gummy feeling, try it again, try using less. If you didn't use it with its leave-in and you do want to use a leave-in because you don't want to use it alone, try it with the Cara Care um, Curl Essence leave-in and see how you like it then. That is my suggestion. So. Um, yes, I would repurchase probably and I would recommend this gel. So, to my subscriber who told me to use this Joseph Harris 9286, thank you for suggesting this. I think a couple other people suggested it, but um, that subscriber suggested it first. I do want to let you know that I do like it. Trying it again is worth it. Um, using less is worth it in my opinion and I still got the fluffiness I still got the definition with a little bit of frizz that I like and I still think that I'll get multiple days out of my hair so thank you again for suggesting this um, moisturizing gel and yeah guys I hope this video was helpful to you if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next one bye guys